iteachgeek.com. <laughs> Ask Brian. That's me. Welcome to Archie's Geek. I'm your host Rashad, and we're here to show you how to make a create a system image of Windows 7. When you make an image, it is the exact replication of how your system is right now. So if you just finished configuring your system all nice and pretty, you go ahead and make an image of it. So if anything ever happens, you can always come back to this fresh, clean install. First thing I want to show you is, is something in disk management. So I can show you a couple rules that comes to creating images and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and go to disk management. All right, first thing we want to make sure is that we have a second disk. Either you have a second disk internally or you have a second disk externally, like an external driver or so, such. Now, the rules of making system images. You have to make sure that the hard drive that, that Windows 7 is currently installed on is not bigger than the hard drive that you're going to save the image on. Also, you want to make sure the hard drive that you're saving image on is not bigger than the hard drive that you're going to be putting the image back on. If you're going to be putting the image back on the same computer, then you don't have to worry about this step. But if you're going to be putting the image on a different computer, then you want to make sure that this hard drive that you're putting image on right now is not bigger than the new hard drive you're going to put it on. Uh... A good way to make sure that this will never happen is follow these few steps and I'll show you. So let's go ahead and say this hard drive is bigger than your second hard drive. What we can do is we can right click and we can shrink the volume. Let, let's go ahead and shrink it as much as we can. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink it down to about 30 gigs. So go ahead and shrink. All right. Now, this disk right here is unallocated. I don't have anything on it. But let's say your second disk has something on it. You don't want to delete everything. So we'll do the same thing. So we'll go ahead and shrink this volume down too. So first, so first let me make, make this a simple volume so we can do it. All right, this is how your second disk should look if you have something on it. So it should be saying that it's healthy and it should be using up the whole hard drive. So let's say you have some stuff on it. So we want to go ahead and shrink it down to 33 gigs. We want to give it 33 gigs. So make sure your hard drive has at least 33 gigs enough for the image. So we want to right click. Let's go ahead and shrink it. All right, we go ahead and change this to 33. We're going to go ahead and shrink it. All right, now it's shrunk. Now we'll go ahead and right click. We're going to make a new simple volume. I want to call this backup so I can distinguish this from everyone else. So we call this backup. Go ahead and press next. All right, now let's go make sure that the formatted right and it's there so we can go ahead and go to start computer and there we have it it's called backup all right now we need to go to the control panel now that we're in control panel we're gonna go ahead and back up your computer we want to create a system image all right like I said make sure it says backup and it was signed it the drive level you signed it. So let's go ahead and press next. And we want to make sure this is checked. Of course, it's going to be checked. You can't uncheck it. But we don't want to back up this drive. We just want to back up, make an image of the computer. So we go ahead and press next. Start backup. And I'll be back once it's finished. All right, if you see this pop up, let's go ahead and say yes. You Most likely, you don't have a repaired disk. So go ahead and say yes. 
or when you see this, you want to go ahead and pop in a CD or a DVD in there and press create disc. All right, it's complete. Go ahead and close it. Press OK. And go ahead and close this. All right, now I'm about to show you how to restore a computer using the system image. So we can go ahead and start this over, restart, and make sure that repair disk is in the disk drive. So we go ahead and restart the computer. All right, when you start the computer, you want to go ahead and make sure you go to your BIOS and make sure that your CD drive is the first thing in the boot priority. All right, and go ahead and save it. Save the changes. All right, press any key to boot the disk. All right, when you come here, we're going to go ahead and press next. We want to go ahead and restore your computer using the system image. Uh, you can use this if you had a blank hard drive also. But it wouldn't show nothing here if you had a blank hard drive. So we can go ahead and go here and, rest and restore your computer using the system image. And there it goes. It's, sh it's showing that it found the image. And this is the one we made on backup. And here goes the time. And that's the computer name. So we go ahead and press next. I said we want to format and re and repartition the disk. And there goes the disk to make sure. Make sure we don't want to exclude it because it's the only disk we want to use. And that's the 60 gigabyte one we had. So you go ahead and press OK. And you press next. And go and press finish. And say yes. And I'll be back once this finished restoring your computer. If you get the error on the bottom of the screen, that means that you didn't do the partitioning right like I showed you earlier. So make sure you did exactly what I what I showed you. If you didn't, this will not work. All right, once it finished, you'll actually restart. So go ahead and press restart. All right, your computer should come back exactly how you did from the image it should be exactly the same everything should be the same all the profiles all the files everything should be the same so we go ahead and log in as you can see it shows the person that I was last logged in as and I was logged in as administrator and I was actually a part of the domain and it even keeps you a part of, logged on on the domain it's just a exact split image of what you left so go ahead and log in Okay, we have a little problem here. Now, if you put this image on a different computer than your original computer, you need to do a thing called a sysprep. I'll show you how to do a sysprep real quick. I would even advise you to do a sysprep even if you put it on the same computer. So we're going to go ahead and go to start. And we need to go ahead and do the run. Go ahead and find run. It's the only way you get to it is by run or going through program files. We put sysprep in here. All right, click, click sysprep. Sysprep will also fix your drivers issue that you have right now. If you put this on a different computer, they have different drivers. Sysprep will will redo everything. It will change your SID ID, and it will put the right drivers on the new computer you put it on. But if you put it on the same computer, it really doesn't matter. But if you put it on a new computer with, with a different computer, a model, it will fix it. So we go ahead and click on sysprep. We want to go to generalize. And you press OK. And I'll be back once this finish. OK, you should come to the screen. Sysprep is mandatory if you're going to have the machine on the domain. Mandatory because you don't want any machine to have the same SID number. And also, it'll cause problems because your computer has the same computer name that's on the domain. Only one computer can have the same name on the domain. They always got to have different names. So we go ahead and press next. Any username that already been on the machine, you cannot use. So you can go ahead and just make a random name for a local a main account and you can delete it later if you don't want it or you can just make a new name. 
and you go ahead and name the computer whatever naming scheme y'all have on your domain or if this is a personal computer you can name it whatever you want press next go ahead and give it a password All right, once you're back in, everything's just about done. Uh, SysPrep does reset your network settings, so you have to go back and make it static if you had a static or point to wherever DNS server you had it pointing to. All right, for the last test, I'm just going to try to connect back to my domain to make sure everything's working right. I'm going to go ahead and try to connect back to my domain. And there you have it. I'm back on the domain. So you have successfully created a sister image, restored it, and did a sys prep. I'm your host, Rashad. Thanks for watching.